Welcome to the 2022 Save the Frogs World Summit. I am Save the Frogs founder, Dr. Kerry Krieger. Very happy to have you all here. Looking forward to a very educational and hopefully entertaining and enjoyable 24 hours of frog saving. We will be here on and off for the next 24 hours. So I hope you can attend. And if you are enjoying it, then go ahead, spread the word, invite people to attend savethefrogs.com slash summit they can register there i'm going to go ahead and share my screen okay so i prepared this presentation called why i organized the 2022 save the frogs world summit why did i decide to do this why did i want you all to be here and what are my goals and hopes and hopefully you can help me achieve those all right to begin with i want to educate the Save the Frogs community. Our mission, the mission of Save the Frogs is to protect amphibian populations and to promote a society that respects and appreciates nature and wildlife. And this is one of the ways that we can accomplish our mission. Connect Save the Frogs community members. We are all around the world. I have some precise numbers something like 48 countries 350 or so people registered for this event from about 48 countries and this is a good way to connect people everyone can meet other um, save the frogs experts and everybody's all the speakers all their details on how to contact them stay in touch learn more about them is on save the frogs.com slash summit right under the speakers bio we also have a discord community if you are in discord it will be easy for you to join it savethefrogs.com slash discord d-i-s-c-o-r-d if you've never used discord you can get the ios or android app or install it on your laptop desktop and that's a great way to stay in touch and meet other save the frogs members and enthusiasts and supporters all right another goal grow the save the frogs community i always want new people coming into the save the frogs community people who have never heard of us people that did not know much about us maybe didn't even know much about amphibians or that they were in trouble so this is a great way to do that you can help us grow the save the frogs community by spreading the word about save the frogs save the frogs.com and this event save the frogs.com slash summit I also want to highlight the efforts of amphibian conservationists. There are a lot of people out there in the world doing great things for amphibians. We have a lot of them here today and today and tomorrow. I believe we've got 15 presenters from 10 countries. And I want to inspire action, especially as relates to Save the Frogs Day. You may have noticed that the last two years in part because there weren't many live events non-virtual events taking place but world summit took place on save the frogs day whereas this year we're a few weeks ahead of save the frogs day and that is for a reason the 14th annual save the frogs day coming up april 30th 2022 so that gives us plenty of time to organize events and promote those events so one reason for holding this event start of April was to inspire action in your community. If you could organize a Save the Frogs Day event, that would be great. At savethefrogs.com slash day, we have a link there, and it's called How to Organize a Successful Save the Frogs Day event. So definitely go check that out to get some ideas on your event. All right, Paul says that's a great graphic. Yes, we have some amazing Save the Frogs artists and volunteer graphic designers. If you ever want to do graphic design for Save the Frogs, savethefrogs.com slash volunteers. You can go there or you can go to savethefrogs.com slash graphic dash design and submit an application. This one comes from Julie Hendricks.
other goals of this event, inspire donations and memberships. More donations, more frogs saved. Later on, I'm going to be announcing Save the Frogs grant winners and talking about all the grant applications that have yet to be funded because we are trying to raise more money so that we can fund them. We had a set amount of money that we could give out and we had a lot of applications come in, many of them worthy. And as we raise more funding, we can grant those awards. So there's a very direct relationship between your donation and Frog Saved. I highly encourage everyone to become a Save the Frogs member. If you're not a member, $10 a month or $100 a year gets you a membership that gets you lots of benefits that you can read about at savethefrogs.com slash membership. And your membership will also enable us to give out a scholarship. So if you just heard that and you were thinking $10 a month, $100 a year, that's way too much. I can't afford it. No problem. Go to savethefrogs.com slash scholarships. Apply for a scholarship. It takes about five minutes to apply for a scholarship. And if you're awarded the scholarship, which assuming that you are a dedicated um, frog saver, if you want to be a Save the Frogs member, you'll probably get that scholarship that will get you your membership and you'll get access to Save the Frogs Academy, among other things. The World Summit helps us source new content for the website, create. We are creating new videos that will go into Save the Frogs Academy. So we've got about seven hours of presentations lined up and we will get those videos into Save the Frogs Academy to continue to educate people for many years to come. And if you've never checked out Save the Frogs Academy, go check it out. And if you go to savethefrogs.com slash academy dash free, and there should be a link right at the top of the site to get you there. But savethefrogs.com slash academy dash free. You can get 28 days free full access to Save the Frogs Academy. Otherwise, when you become a member or get your Save the Frog scholarship, you will get full access. All right. I also want to have a good time and I hope all of you have a good time. From my past experience at Save the Frogs World Summits, the first of which we held in 2016, it is pretty much always a good time. Get to talk about frogs and hear some music, meet some, uh, some frog loving people. So we should have a good time. And I want to send out thanks to volunteers, Lorea Cottingham and Sophie Bennett, who helped me organize the summit and, um, gather up all the good questions that came in when people were, were registering so that I can do my Save the Frogs Q&A later. Thanks to the 15 presenters representing 10 countries, Belgium, Chile, the UK, Australia, India, Philippines, USA, and Peru. Sorry, I got some repeat countries in there. Need to clean that up. Maybe it's not 10. Maybe it is. I'll go check the uh, true numbers shortly. And of course, our Save the Frogs donors, over 4,500 donors since 2008, contributing nearly $2 million to our worldwide amphibian conservation efforts and making all of this possible. And of course, I wanna thank all of you. Thanks for being here. Over 350 attendees or registrants, hopefully most people show up, from 48 countries. So thanks for being here. We are going to respect your time and ensure you're getting tons of valuable amphibian education. All right, so for any of you who can't stay long or wanna know how to contact me, carry at savethefrogs.com. You can send me an email. You can always go to the contact page of the website too contact at savethefrogs.com. And you can find me on the main social media sites, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, at Carrie Krieger. So definitely stay in touch. 
Also, as I said, we've got Save the Frogs Discord community, savethefrogs.com slash discord, and I am in there as well. Okay, so starting in a few minutes, we'll have various presenters, and I believe that Rob Grasso will be starting out. Let me make sure he's here. He is here. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and make you a co-host, but let's. Uh, we've got a few minutes before you begin. If anyone ever has questions at any point, then definitely you can go ahead and chat them in, and we will be trying to answer anything that comes in through the chat probably at the end of each presentation or between presentations when there is some time just like this. So if you have a question, send it in and let me go ahead and uh, see if anything has come in. How about everyone chats in right now? Where in the world are you? What country or what state are you in? Let us know. I am actually in Colombia in South America in Tolima, Central Colombia. All right, Felicity in the U.S., Dr. Sharma in India, Singapore, Yosemite National Park, Kathmandu, Nepal, U.K., upstate New York. We've got Margot Fast. Maybe you know her. She'll be speaking later from upstate New York as well. A Frog House is her organization. Steve Andrews in Portugal. I met Steve in Portugal, played some music with him went out to look for frogs as well and he'll be playing us some music later on govin namaste from india paul morton bugbelly author england carrie johnson in tahoe one of the most beautiful places in the usa lake tahoe all right more from the uk california maryland mid-atlantic USA, Zambia. All right, maybe that's Choti, perhaps. Save the Frogs board member and eco tourist volunteer donor and more. Choti Singh, Zambia. Emmanuel, Belfast, Northern Ireland. All right, another Maryland citizen. Netherlands, Portugal again. Kentucky, Tom Bibikowser, Elmer in Washington State. And we've got Michigan represented. All right. Thanks everyone for being here. Let's go ahead and get Rob Grasso up here and I hope everyone has a fabulous time. Mm -hmm. 